hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for stopping by we have more new good notes features they are releasing these things so fast it's hard to keep up in fact while i call myself recording this little intro for the video i found a new update this update is offering some different covers that are available for your notebooks or planners that you create inside of good notes so once you download the update if you click on this little box once you open up good notes in the app store it'll take you straight to the notebook covers now for 149 you get nine covers and there are all different types of covers in here i'm going to flip through so you can see them i'm going to be going over six new features in this video and shay also has a video on her channel where she's going to give you nine more tips and tricks and features so once you finish this video if you follow the link that i have below to her video you'll get the rest of the tips and tricks we have for you so the first thing i want to go over is the new lasso menu that we have once you've lassoed something you'll notice that the menu has completely changed there are icons now instead of the words and i don't know if you know what each icon means but we're going to go over it real fast. So the first icon which looks like a little speech with a star on the side of it is your new GoodNotes AI feature. You can select this and if you have something circled like I do on my page you can have the option to search the AI feature for that or you can type in a question at the bottom in the search bar. Once you select the triangle for the search to begin GoodNotes will generate the data from your question and answer your question. Not only does it answer your question and explain whatever the terms are in your question it also gives you several follow-up questions that you can ask to further go into your research for whatever the topic is. The best part of this AI feature is if you close out of the AI and come back to it, it'll hold all of your data until you decide to clear the chat. And to clear the chat, you just select the down arrow beside Ask Good Notes and it'll give you the option to restart the conversation. So once you select Restart the Conversation in the pop-up box, it'll give you the option to clear and restart or keep the chat. The next icon on the lasso menu is a color changer. So it gives you the option to change the color of your text or your font using the lasso tool. The next icon is an adjuster for your handwriting. This gives you all the adjustment options that you use with text. You can use the sides of the box to adjust the lining of your text. And if you tap inside the box, you get a menu that allows you to change the alignment of your text to center, left, and right. And if you select the three dots at the end of this menu, it gives you a couple of more editing options, such as converting your handwriting to text, changing the color, or deleting the text. The next icon is an adjuster too, but this is the adjuster that you would use if you wanted to change the size of your text or your stickers. If you wanted to move things around and you wanted to change the direction, you would use that little circle option that sticks out from it, either at the top or the bottom, to rotate whatever the object is inside of your box. Next, there's a pair of scissors and you can use this to cut an object out. Of course, if you hold with your pencil, you'll get the menu option to paste whatever you've cut back. The next icon is two stacked sheets of paper and this is your copy feature. So once you select that, it's copied whatever you have selected, just hold on the screen and it'll give you the option to paste back whatever you've copied. The two boxes with the plus sign give you the option to duplicate. And you have a trash can now for your delete option. There's a timekeeper feature now that gives you a timer and a stopwatch to help with your productivity. You can select different modes that save your frequent activity so you don't have to reset the clock for those times each time. So I'm going to create one now for breaks. I'm going to open up the my modes and then select new. I'm going to add in the title break and then select an icon. After you've added in the time that you want to set up for your duration, you're going to select save. Now, every time that you want to take a break, you can just go to this mode and set the clock to start. And if you want to stop the time, select the drop down to pause or end the session. The two squares on the toolbar is the new sticky note feature. The sticky notes come in square, wide, and tall, and each size has a small, medium, and large option. The sticky notes can also be customized to match the color that you're currently using. Once you have everything set up for your sticky note, just tap the screen to add it. You can use the corners of the sticky note to adjust the size, and if you tap on the screen again, it'll give you a new note. You can hold on the sticky note and it'll give you a pop-up menu. In this menu, there's a collapse option that can be used to share notes or keep up with changes that need to be made to a document. Just add the comment, and once the change has been made, 
Use the three dots at the top and select resolve to remove it. Okay, so I don't know if this is a new feature, but while using my planner, I noticed that when you have it in text mode, if you use your finger to tap on where you have a hyperlink, it won't work with the pencil. You have to use your finger. It'll jump to wherever it is. You can use your hyperlinks with your finger in text mode like you can with your pencil when it's not in edit mode. You don't have to have that little toolbar and tell it to jump to the link. You can just select the link and it'll go to the link. This last tip is how to remove the dotted line from your hyperlinks. There's not really a way to remove it, but there's a workaround. Once you have the text that you wanna hyperlink, the first thing you wanna do is duplicate that text. You wanna make sure that you have two copies of it. You're gonna hyperlink one of the text so I'm gonna I have notes here I'm gonna hyperlink one note and one note is gonna remain unhyperlinked and if you haven't hyperlinked in good notes I have a whole video that I'll link below to show you how to do the steps for hyperlinking but once you have your hyperlink set up you want to use your lasso tool to circle the hyperlinked one just the hyperlink one that's why I moved the second notes out of the way once you select it you want to change the color to match your background so my background's white i'm going to change the color of this text to white you can't see it anymore now the hyperlink is in place and it's good to go but you can't tell where it is so that's why you have this second text you want to put it over top of the first one so now you know where your hyperlink is when you put your planner in edit mode the dotted line is gone and the hyperlink works that's all the features and tips I have. Make sure you check out Shay's video below for nine more. And if you have any that we might have missed, let us know in the comments. All right, y'all. Till next time.